It's 2024 and you still don't have a CRM, a place where you can track potential leads as they move through your pipeline, track new clients and their progress in your onboarding, and even store valuable information about existing clients all in one place. If you don't have a CRM in 2023, you're putting yourself behind your competition, but don't worry, I'm going to be fixing that today where I'll show you a live build out of a CRM you can actually steal from me and begin implementing in your agency. Firstly, just to be very, very clear, a CRM can literally be anything. A Notion page like the one I'm building out today, a spreadsheet with a couple of columns, even a notepad with all your clients' information. A CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. This is used to manage interactions with existing clients and potential clients. Having a CRM will streamline process allowing you to increase your sales, improve your customer service, and ultimately increase your profitability. If you hate Notion, don't focus on the build out of what I'm about to show you. Focus on the structure and layout of the different sections and how you can actually apply it to whatever it is that you're creating. Let's get into how to actually build this out. So firstly, this all starts with the Notion. You won't need a paid account for this just yet, so sign up for free and come back to this video when you're done. Now that you're all set up, let's get started with the actual setup of the CRM where I'll show you exactly how to build it out. So step one is actually creating a page on the Notion. Put a random Notion page or section and put dash page. From here, the next step is super, super simple. So firstly, you want to create a board. So in this section right here, go over to more and select board. Now that we've created a board, we need to connect a new database. So for this, we want to go over here and create a new database. This is the first initial version of CRM. Obviously, we're going to make it look quite a lot different, but these are the baby stages. So the first thing we want to do is let's add a new property so we can actually start sorting them in a specific stages. So click these three dots right here. Head over to properties and you want to add a new property. We're going to scroll down to select and here we're going to name it stages. Now, here's where you're going to start adding different options and the different sections that your CRM is going to be split into. So for us, it's going to be lead, active lead, closed, active client, lost lead and lost client. Let's just reorganize these in the right order. So we have lead first. Cool. Now we're going to exit this. Then we're going to go back to board view, edit view, head over to layout, group by, and instead of status, we're going to put stages. So as you can see, the stages are here. Now let's reorganize it a bit. So first we want lead, then we want active lead, closed active client, lost client. Now for lost client and client lead, lead we're going to hide these pages. So they show up on the side, just like that. You can do the same for no stages. So guys, this is the very beginning of our CRM. As you can see, every single time you add a card, it will be in a specific section like this, and you can move it along depending on the stages of specific leaders in. Now, this is probably the most important part of this whole thing, which is adding the specific properties for each card. So I want to give you some generic examples of things that you should be tracking within your CRM. Feel free to customize it as much as you want. Within our cards, I think we have about 30 different properties, so there's a lot you can actually do here. So very simply, we're going to press these three dots right here, Go back to properties and want to start adding them in. Now, like I said, I'm just giving you some examples. So first we have email. This is very important, quite obviously. Then we can have Google Drive folder. If you scroll all the way down, you can see they have their own kind of set option for that. Next, we can have retainer. For that, we're going to go over to number, number format, and then you can choose your currency. So for us, it be pounds. Then we have follow-up required. Now for this, you should use a date. So that's what we're going to do. I want to come back to this after. Next, we have sales stage. Now, this is a kind of subdomain, which we're going to set up later as well. But this just to kind of identify the different sales stage that this particular lead is in. So we're going to go over here. We're going to put sales stage and we're going to add a different stages within your sales process. So for us, it would be contacted, sales call, follow up. Now that that's set up, we're going to do the exact same thing for onboarding. So once again, select here. I'll put onboarding stage. And then we're going to add your different onboarding stages. So this can be kickoff email, proposal creation, proposal review, ad creation, for example. Now we're just going to reorganize it. Perfect. So those are the properties we have right now. If you go back over here, these are very, very generic stuff. And there's a ton more information that you should be adding to your CRM when tracking stuff, such as anniversaries, company information, the website, a ton of different things. But this is a great starting point when actually building out your CRM. So now that we've got more properties, it's time to actually create more views. So let's rename this to main CRM. And now we're going to create more boards, just breaking out this information even further. So the first thing I'm going to create is a sales stage where we can see the different sales stages, different leads. So we're going to press this plus button right here. Change it to a board again. We're going to group by sales stage. And obviously it's empty right now, but here we have contacted follow-up and sales call. And this, we can rename it to sales stage. 
Next, we'll do the exact same thing for onboarding. A little shortcut for this, just a duplicate it instead. Edit a view, head over to the board, group by, group by, and then put onboarding stage. Very cool. And obviously we're gonna reorganize that to be in the right order. And let's rename this to onboarding stage. Last but least, we can create a follow-up calendar. So we'll go over here, change this to calendar. As you can see, it's already preset to follow-up required. And that's it. So whenever you need to follow up to someone, it will, you'll have an overview of this in a calendar. We're gonna rename this to follow-up calendar. Last but not least, let's rename the CRM. So you should put your company name, CRM. So for example, for us, it will be Fluximate CRM. Before we move on to the very last step, let me show you how this actually works. So whenever a new lead comes in, you can simply add new. You can type the name. You can assign it to a specific person. You can add their email, the actual name of the client. You can link the Google Drive folder, add your retainer here. If follow-up is required, you can simply select it like this. And you can also create reminders to remind you to actually follow up. You can add the different still stages that they're in. So for example, if you book the sales call and different onboarding stages, for example, if they're you know waiting for the proposal to be reviewed. And as the lead moves down the stages, you move around to the different stages. So for example, if they respond to the email, they can turn into an active lead. If you close them, you can move them to closed. And after the onboarding process, you move them on to active client. Now this is super, super cool, but let's just tweak it very, very slightly to make it look a bit better and make it a bit more functional. So firstly, we're gonna, in these tabs here, we wanna tally out the sum of the value. So for count all, we're gonna go, we're gonna sum the value of the retainer. Here we'll get a great idea of our current monthly recurring revenue. If we lost the lead, how much leads we're actually losing, or if we have a bunch of leads, how much the leads are actually worth. Secondly, one thing I love to do is add in emojis. Now, quite obviously, this is by no means necessary. I just do it for design aspects. It makes it a bit nicer to look at. And then last thing, we wanna add a nice banner or a cover. So just an example, I added my YouTube banner, but you can add whatever you want. Now guys, there is a ton of different design aspects you can actually change on this. And there's a bunch of different ways to set up, but this is a great starting position to be at when creating your CRM and it'll make managing leads so much easier. As you can see, as you start getting more leads in, it'll look a lot cleaner as well and you'll be able to manage everything with no hiccups. Now, if you've been following along building this live with me, I've got some bad news for you. Everything you've done is completely useless. That's right, you might as well delete the dashboard and smash your laptop. That is unless you incorporate some sort of automations within your CRM to keep up to date. I know myself, when I first built this out, I knew I wouldn't have updated it regularly enough to make it useful, but I convinced myself that this time was different. Fast forward two months later, and that's exactly what happened. It was all over the place, all old and out of the information, and it was literally useless. That's exactly why you need to build out some sort of automations to regularly update the spreadsheet when things happen. So for example, when a lead books a sales call, moving them to the sales stage. When you onboard a new client, moving them to a closed client and update to the onboarding stage. These are all simple automations, but they will make a massive difference in your success in using any sort of CRM. To make your life easier, I've created this resource that has four different tools you can actually use to create automations for your agency. Within there, there's an automation checklist and savings calculator, and even a tool that literally gives you five completely custom automations and a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually set them up completely for free. Within an agency's guide to automation, we have over 200 different automation examples, which you can take inspiration from to automate your CRM and ultimately your business, keeping it as up to date and as linked as possible. If you don't want to fall behind, check out the first link in the description. It's 100% free and all we need is an email to actually send it over to you. Don't be an idiot. Make the most of these resources which we've made available for you guys. Usually people charge thousands for stuff like this, but for you it's 100% free, no strings attached. I know this was a useful video, so if you like what you saw, check out this video for a deeper guide on how you can actually automate your onboarding process. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and like the video to support the channel. If you have any questions whatsoever about this, or just automation in general, drop a comment below. And if not, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.